Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how being normal is making you ugly. And I know that sounds crazy, but stick with me. We live in a world where so many things that we consider to be normal, from the food that we eat to the way that we sit and spend our time, are actually harming us far more than we even realize. So in this video, we're going to expose how these everyday habits that have become societal norms are slowly making us uglier, unhealthier, and what we can do to break free from them. If you wanna look and feel your best, this video might be exactly what you need. The first normal thing here that is making you ugly is choosing the easy route. While I can absolutely appreciate convenience and advancements that make things seamless and easier, I think it is so important to still make sure that you're challenging yourself. I cannot emphasize this enough, do the hard things. You will thank yourself later. I mean, just sit and think for a minute about how many of these easy things or bad habits could fall under this category, all of which can contribute to making you ugly, even if it is a slow, drawn-out process, and I'll be elaborating on a lot of these throughout the video. I guess an interchangeable term for this point could also be just short-term gratification. When we avoid challenges and stay in our comfort zone, we stop growing. Whether it's avoiding physical activity, mental challenges, or social situations, this leads to stagnation. Over time, this is going to impact our confidence, our energy, and even our physical appearance. People who challenge themselves are more vibrant, more resilient and self-assured, which naturally is going to make them more attractive. So pushing yourself beyond what's easy not only helps you grow, but it also reflects in how you carry yourself and can also impact how you look. Delayed gratification and doing hard things helps build your confidence, discipline, and set healthy habits that are going to benefit you long-term. Developing these positive habits and pushing yourself to do hard things are going to make you way more attractive, happy, and fulfilled long-term. Delayed gratification is the key and is certainly not the norm anymore. Okay, the next thing here is poor diet and processed foods. Poor diet and processed foods have become a huge part of modern life and it's taking a toll on how we look. Fast food, sugary snacks, processed meals, these are all convenient, so we've normalized them in our daily routines. And to an extent, I get it, but I don't think it should become your normal. These foods are loaded with chemicals, preservatives, and unhealthy fats that can cause breakouts, dull skin, weight gain, and even hair loss. Over time, a poor diet affects not only our physical health, but our overall appearance. So to look and feel our best, we need to start seeing food as fuel, not just convenience. Processed food is making us sick and ugly, if I can be so blunt. I think this goes back to my point about choosing the easy route and short-term gratification. Sure, in the short term, it might be easier to run through McDonald's instead of cooking yourself a nutritious meal, but it will not make your life any easier in the long term. The choices that you make today impact how you'll function tomorrow. Your life in 20 years will be a reflection of the choices that you make right now. Included in this is something that I've talked about in the past, which is not eating enough protein or giving our body the nutrients that it needs. Eat whole, unprocessed foods. Learn to cook your own meals. You can absolutely still enjoy a meal out from time to time. I do as well, but this shouldn't become your normal. I cook almost every single day throughout the week, and we eat out probably once a week, sometimes not even that. It is not normal to eat processed junk. Our body needs whole, nutritious foods. And I don't say this to be judgmental. Again, this is something that I've had to learn as well. I don't think many of us were taught this growing up. I think there's been a lot of misinformation online about this, but I think as an adult, it is your responsibility to fuel your body with the nutrients that it needs so that you can look, feel, and function your best. Since I made these changes in my diet and my lifestyle, I feel and look so much better. And that's just my personal opinion. Maybe you think differently, um, but I personally feel like I am just functioning better. I feel like I look better. And overall, I just feel like this has really helped my life. So would highly recommend. The next normal thing that's making us ugly is isolation and no community. This has become such a serious problem and I fear that it is only getting worse. We are not meant to be isolated and lonely. We're meant to connect with each other, to have human to human interaction and foster a sense of community. I've even noticed myself, the longer that I I go without interacting with people, the more anxious I become. I have to actively push myself to be social and not isolate myself. It is a very easy trap to fall into, especially given the nature of the world now and working from home and all of those things. I mean, the nature of my job is strangely isolating, even though I'm connected to so many people online. I work from home and I hardly leave my house if I'm being honest. So this is something that I have to push myself to do. And I know firsthand that this has an extremely negative impact on communication and conversation skills for me and for a lot of 
on other people. Now you're probably thinking, well, how is that making me unattractive or unhealthy? When we spend too much time alone, it can take a toll on our mental health, which eventually shows up physically. Chronic loneliness increases stress and anxiety, which can lead to breakouts, dark circles under your eyes, and even premature aging. Plus, isolation can lower our motivation to take care of ourselves, whether that's exercising, grooming, or just maintaining a sort of healthy routine. Even sometimes for myself, if I know I don't have to film content, interact with anybody, or leave my house, I stay in my pajamas the entire day, or I did in the past and this was not good for my mental health. So even on the days where I stay home now and I know that I'm not leaving, I always make an effort to get ready to shower, to do my hair and makeup. Um, even if it's just a little bit, put a different outfit on rather than staying in my pajamas all day. I mean, this seriously has such a negative impact and I've noticed that when I get ready and I push myself to leave my house and interact with people, I just feel so much better physically, mentally, and emotionally. So staying connected with other people isn't just good for your mind, Mind, but it's essential for looking your best too. And another thing you can do to look your best is implement a quality skincare routine, which you can do with the help of today's sponsor, T. Shanley. Too many men aren't doing this and it legitimately only adds a few minutes to your daily routine. So start making it one of your new positive habits. T. Shanley simplifies the process. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all of the basics. A daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. Now this isn't something that you wanna put off because prevention is key. Your future self with skin that looks better than every other guy who didn't take my advice will be thankful. Tiege wants to make it a no-brainer for you to get started on your skincare journey. And because Tiege is sponsoring this video, they're offering you an amazing deal. Just click the first link down in the description to get 40% off of your first skincare system and a free gift. Plus, as a member, you'll also get 20% off for life. One of their newer gift options is the silicone body scrubber. I use one of these instead of a loofah and it is so much better. So click the first link in the description and get started on your skincare journey today. The next normal thing that is making us ugly is engaging in toxic relationships or being the toxic one in a relationship. Of course, this applies with romantic relationships, but also with platonic relationships as well, whether it be with family, friends, coworkers, you name it. I mean, we see this all the time in movies, TV shows, and on social media where dramatic, unstable relationships are often portrayed as exciting or passionate, and we wonder why we're all so messed up. Many people also grow up around unhealthy dynamics, so these behaviors feel familiar and normal. On top of that, the fear of being alone or the need for validation can keep us stuck in these cycles. Without enough examples of healthy, balanced relationships, it is so easy to accept toxicity as a part of the norm. And I think the real issue here, or something that's just not talked about enough, is that so many of us just do not know how and or don't have the skills that are required to have healthy relationships. Communication, the ability to regulate your emotions, how to handle conflict, respect, but I think recognizing these patterns is the first step to breaking free and really prioritizing relationships that truly support our well being. This constant emotional stress from unhealthy relationships takes a huge toll on your mental and physical health. Chronic stress can lead to breakouts, weight fluctuations, poor sleep, and even premature aging. But beyond the physical, being in toxic relationships absolutely drains your energy and your self-esteem, which is going to affect the way that you carry yourself, how you interact with others, and how others perceive you. Healthy relationships, on the other hand, help you thrive and reflects a confidence that naturally is going to enhance your attractiveness. It's going to make you feel better, obviously, but also look a heck of a lot better too. The next thing on my list here is a sedentary lifestyle. Now, a sedentary lifestyle has become the norm in our society, especially with the rise of technology and remote work, as I mentioned earlier in the video. We often find ourselves glued to screens for long hours, whether it's at the office working, binge watching shows, scrolling through social media. This lifestyle is not just making us less attractive, it is detrimental to our health as well. Think about it. Long periods of sitting can lead to poor posture, which can affect your confidence and how you carry yourself. It can also slow down your metabolism, making it much easier to gain weight, which can lead to a lack of energy and vitality and not make you look as good, obviously. Beyond the physical, the effects of a sedentary lifestyle can impact our mental health tremendously. Lack of movement is linked to increased anxiety and depression, making us feel a lot less motivated and engaged within our lives. When we aren't challenging ourselves physically, we miss out on the endorphins that come from exercise, which are crucial for maintaining a positive mood. 
And that's because exercise often helps reduce cortisol, the stress hormone. So to break this sedentary lifestyle, consider starting by incorporating maybe some small manageable changes into your day, maybe standing while working, taking a short walk break, or even doing a quick workout at home. Sometimes while I'm sitting on my couch working, I'll just get up and do like 10 squats or something just to keep my body moving and my blood flowing. These super simple adjustments can enhance not only your physical appearance, but also your overall well-being. If I am ever in a funk, some sort of movement always helps me. There has not been a time that working out made me feel worse. So work out, go to the gym, go take a fitness class, go for a run or a walk, whatever is best for you. But please guys, make this a priority. If I can do it, so can you. We can help hold each other accountable here. And do not underestimate the power of a walk. If you are sad, go for a walk. If you're stressed, walk. If you're angry, walk. If you're overwhelmed, walk. A walk always makes me feel better, so get to walking. Okay, the next normal thing that is making us ugly is alcohol, one of my favorite things to talk about. Now, I don't drink alcohol, and it is one of the best, if not the best, choice that I make for my health and my well-being. I don't share this to act all holier than thou, but more so to be a positive influence and help anyone out there who might feel isolated and alone in their sober lifestyle or someone who's thinking about quitting. Alcohol has become deeply ingrained in our society, whether it's through social drinking, casual nights out, or even as a way to unwind after a long day. However, I think it is so important to consider the potential consequences of regular alcohol consumption. Alcohol can dehydrate your skin, resulting in dryness, dullness, and premature wrinkles while also disrupting your sleep quality, which doesn't lead to anything good. It leads to dark circles, fatigue, and just overall feeling like garbage. But beyond the surface, alcohol poses significant health risks. It increases inflammation, which can lead to breakouts and can also impair liver function, causing toxins to build up in the body. Over time, regular drinking can also impact weight, weaken the immune system, and accelerate the aging process, as I mentioned before. So all that to say, alcohol is not harmless and its effects can be detrimental to both your health and your appearance. Additionally here, the impact of alcohol on mental health is noteworthy. Regular consumption can elevate your anxiety levels, disrupt your mood, and foster a reliance on alcohol as a coping mechanism for stress, which is not good. Over time, this reliance might contribute to more serious mental health issues like depression by interfering with the brain's natural chemical balance. Alcohol can also affect our ability to process emotions, cope with challenges, and maintain healthy relationships, making it so much harder to manage stress and remain mentally resilient. These mental health challenges can significantly influence overall well-being and quality of life. So again, all that to say, it is essential to recognize the physical and mental impacts of alcohol consumption. By understanding how it affects our bodies and minds, we can make more informed choices about our drinking habits. I encourage you all to reflect on your relationship with alcohol and really consider how it aligns with your goals for physical appearance and also your mental health. My goal in sharing this is that we can create a culture that values health and well-being over societal norms surrounding alcohol. Another habit that can quietly impact your appearance is staying indoors and avoiding sunlight and nature. Natural light is essential for vitamin D production, which plays a key role in maintaining healthy skin, healthy hair, and bones. Plus, fresh air and time in nature can reduce your stress and improve your mood, both of which directly influence how you look. Staying cooped up inside, especially under artificial light, I say that as I'm filming in front of two artificial lights, can make your skin look dull, contribute to poor posture, and even drain your energy, all of which are going to affect your attractiveness. So getting outside isn't just good for your health, it's essential for your overall glow and vitality. Now you absolutely wanna protect your skin from the sun because too much sun exposure can be harmful and cause issues. However, sunlight is such an important part of wellness that you'll want to make sure that you're implementing. So my typical recommendation of getting outside and touching some grass still remains. You're not a cockroach that lives in a dark, spooky basement, so get outside and let mother nature work her healing power, including reduce stress and anxiety, mindfulness and relaxation, reduced inflammation, improved cardiovascular health, improved sleep, the list truly does go on. Which leads me into my next point here, which is a lack of sleep. They call it beauty sleep for a reason. A lack of sleep and staying up late have become so normalized, especially with hustle culture glorifying the grind over resting or staying up until 2 a.m. doom scrolling on TikTok. I'm looking at you. 
But here's the truth. Sacrificing sleep is making us less attractive. When we skip out on rest, we see dark circles, dull skin, and even early signs of aging, as many other things in this video have also contributed to as well. Sleep is when our body repairs and rejuvenates itself, producing collagen that's going to keep your skin firm and healthy. It's also when our brain detoxes, improving mental clarity and reducing stress, both of which directly affect how we look. Without proper sleep, we're going to miss out on these benefits, leading to a tired, worn out appearance. Our bodies are designed to follow the cycle of day and night, and when we sync up with that, we experience better sleep, more energy, and improved health. Following your natural circadian rhythm can actually make you more attractive. Sticking to a regular sleep schedule helps your body produce more collagen, reduce inflammation, and repair skin damage, giving you that natural glow. Again, it's called beauty sleep for a reason. Plus, a well-rested body has better hormone balance, which can lead to clearer skin and healthier hair. By aligning with your circadian rhythm, you're not just optimizing your health, you're boosting your overall appearance as well. And you know, I'll be honest, I used to be impressed by people who would wake up at 5 a.m. and you know, function on only four hours of sleep a night, but the more I've learned about sleep, the more I realize this is not the flex that we think it is. So if you wanna look and feel your best, getting enough sleep is one of the most powerful and natural tools that you have. So to wrap this video up, normal cannot be your goal when this is what normal has become. And I hope after watching this video, you're able to clearly see that just because something is common or normal doesn't mean that it's good for you or that you should be doing it or striving for it. Normal has become unhealthy, low energy, angry, stressed, and overall unhappy. I don't want that for any of you, and I want you to see that you have the complete power to be great, to be healthy, full of energy, content, and thriving. So I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. I would also love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Do you do anything on this list? What are some healthy habits that you've started to implement that maybe go against the societal norms? I am very into health, wellness, longevity, anti-aging. And if you'd want me to make more videos about this, I would be happy to do so. It's honestly how I spend most of my free time when I'm not working on my YouTube channel. I feel like I've learned so much. I've done a ton of research um, and it's something that I feel very passionate about. So if you'd wanna see more content like this, please let me know. And while you're in the comments, let me know what other topics that you'd like me to cover. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.